Hello, I'm Kenneth Spivey, and welcome to Maverick Spotlight, where we highlight those in the St. John's community performing well academically and athletically. Uh, today we have with us Emmanuel Seguros, who rides cross country and track here at St. John's, and will be doing so at UT next year. Hope you enjoy the show. All right, so first off, Emmanuel, how or when did you know that cross country was the sport that you wanted to really commit to? Um, so for me, running started in eighth grade, and at the time, I would say uh, it was not my main sport. Soccer was always my main sport from the time I was young. But over time, I realized that you know the road was brighter for, uh, uh, for running, and I was going to have more success in the sport, and that was really my main uh, motivation to change and to choose running full-time, and that kind of came sophomore year. All right, and in the same vein with cross-country, uh, what was your most memorable moment competing at St. John's? My most memorable moment? Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there were a lot of individual moments that stand out, but I think the team moments uh, are the more special just because you, you grow a bond with your teammates. Uh, and I wouldn't say that we ever really reached the heights that we were aiming for. Like uh, cross, we never, we never won SPC, but uh, it was every season was, a, um, you know, we grew stronger together. And uh, one team moment that does stand out was definitely last year breaking the four by eight record. Uh, you know, it was with three other guys that now I've spent three years with running, and uh, that was something special. It's always good to have that team connection, especially in such a tight knit sport. Uh, when you look back over high school, who would you say challenged or pushed you the most in your perspective sports? Um, my teammates and coaches have done a great job of motivating me to be the best runner I can be over the years. But I think to be successful, and like most things, um, it's what you're willing to push yourself towards and what goals you set for yourself and how you go about achieving those goals and what, how much hard work you're willing to put into it. Yeah. And given this is your senior year, particularly the second semester, um, if you could give any cross-country or track freshman a uh, piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, yeah, definitely there are no secrets in running. It's very much what you put in is what you get out of it. And, um, you know, it's not easy, but uh, if you're just, if you don't dedicate yourself to the sport, just like other things, you know, you won't, you won't be as successful as you could have been. And I think that's, something that um, you, know, you should try to avoid. <laughs> but um, no, it, it just comes down to hard work and you know, dedicating yourself to the sport with your teammates. Yeah, and finally, what are your goals for your time at UT? Obviously, I want to continue running at um, the highest level I can. Uh, and hopefully, we can, um, we can get to some pretty high levels in uh, track and field and cross country. I know this year they have a pretty good track team. And um, you know, the big goal is to compete at the Olympics in the future. So hopefully, hopefully UT helps me get there. All right, good to hear. We'll be looking for your name, Emmanuel. Kind of can do this interview. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. You can catch us again at the end of next trimester. And as always, go Mavericks.